Hello Aries, it's been a minute. I hope that you are healthy, doing well. Um, so I'm going to do an intuitive reading for you and this is for the month of April. I am using two different decks today. It has been a, um, I think a difficult time energetically and if I can provide any sort of kind of entertainment in the tarot uh, world then I will do it gladly. Um, so let's get started with your reading. And the first deck that I'm using is the Sacred Traveler deck. Um, I'm unsure of where my Rider weight deck is, but as soon as I locate it, I will use it. Um, but for now, we're going to use the other loved decks. So, Aries. You came up in reverse. Um, two of the cards were in reverse, and that is uh, Solitude and Breaking Trail. So starting with the Solitude, you uh, may have a difficult time transitioning into, I guess, this social distancing period, and you may find that you are kind of creating um, a new routine. Uh, you're wanting to break through and create a new routine. Um, breaking the trail is all about a breakthrough, which is at hand, but again, this is the card that also came up in uh, reverse. So it seems that through solitude, you will certainly be able to develop a new way of living for the time being, uh, but that it may be especially challenging uh, for you mentally during this time, but um, I'm seeing that through gratitude, uh, grace and gratitude in particular, this may be helpful for you. So through gratitude, joy expands. And as we know, the healing powers of gratitude can offer insight into ourselves and into our own uh, paths and our own journeys. And it looks like that if you implement these strategies into your routine and into your life, um, it may prove to be very useful for you. And it seems that maybe in particular you you get inspired um, in the evening hours. So this one is all about the journey uh, by moonlight. And I see that there's an influence here of water. Um, but also the moon. So you may have someone close to you with water in their chart. It could be Cancer or it could be Pisces. And I do see the this is kind of the creative um, energy coming through here for you. So trusting your instincts, trusting that you're on the right path towards this new, I guess, journey, this new trail. Your trailblazer Aries are very um, definitive people by nature and able to decide on a path once they have reached a conclusion. And I think that if you're able to implement these new strategies, um, you will see yourself as successful. So just kind of being patient with yourself at this time. And I think we're all feeling the energy um, differently at this point. And I think um, not trying to implement anything in a manner of, you know, it has to get done, it has to get done, but more of like taking into account like what can I do differently from the previous day in my own life that I can utilize in this new journey, this new path. And I see this as a pretty creative time for actually for Aries in particular, but for many. Um, so use your time not only just, you know, for the everyday life stuff, but also to give back to yourself. And I think that creativity and joy and this new found sense of, like, um, I guess, creative flow you can use to your advantage. Um, I'm pulling now from the other deck, which is the archetype um, guide. It looks here that you have 
this king influence and with the king influence here you have the light attributes and the shadow so if you're able i guess to pull through this chaotic force that we're all feeling and you're using it to guide you in in a way that is uh promoting the light aspect you can expect that you'll feel enlightened um you could be a leader of some sort whether that's at your in your home or maybe in a business setting or you know in your work um you can benefit those in your charge you can help others through this um challenging difficulty but however if you're unable to pull through and you're unable to kind of stay focused on that goal um you know there there's always a shadow to the light and the shadow kind of then you know it is a feeling of remaining um entitled and ruling without restraint so you might find that you're um not giving those j um just the equal amount of kind of uh affirmment or you could be kind of again being more of like a leader with too much control um it's interesting in this picture i see more of a fire and um mm, more of the like golden tones red tones so more fire elements coming through so this could be you i see the sun in the background that could highlight someone with leo placement um you could have that in your chart somewhere um but yeah this is a challenging time so try not to be too divisive in in your wording with others try and come from that balanced king position where you can unite others through this and be a leader of change and bring that light um, to others. So I hope you enjoyed Aries and I'm glad to provide any kind of insight at this time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.